take it back. Take it back. You ready to go to start the show? Huh. Hey YouTube, today I'm reviewing the game Connect Sports Season 2 for the Xbox 360. Connect Sports Season 2 is the second game in the Connect Sports series. It features six new sports, football, skiing, baseball, darts, golf, and tennis. Connect lets you play the game without a physical controller and lets you use the sound of your voice to control action in the game. The first sport I'm going to talk about is football. In football, you can have the coach choose plays or you can choose your own plays. The motion controls worked great, but I wasn't really sure how to complete plays because you could only run in a straight line. For example, the button hook play, it has you go straight and then turn, and I couldn't figure out how to tr turn my character around, and no matter how hard I tried to turn my character, it would only run straight, and I tried to dodge characters because people were tackling me and I wanted to get a touchdown, but... I couldn't run out of the way of them either, so I don't know if there's something else I have to do, or what. I'm not that great at football, so I really wasn't sure what to do. But, overall, football was a great game, and it seemed really authentic. The next sport I'm going to talk about is skiing. The controls in this sport are so easy. You lean left, you go left, you lean right, you go right, and if you want to gain speed, you crouch. The motion controls worked flawlessly in this game. Connect really picked up the times when I screwed up and when I did something right. Overall, skiing was great and the controls worked perfectly. The next sport I'm going to talk about is baseball. Batting was pretty good, but sometimes the connect wouldn't pick up my hits correctly. Sometimes the bat would disappear and I wouldn't know where I was hitting the ball. Sliding into bases worked great, and it even saved me in a couple situations. Pitching was flawless, and the game even tells you the weakness of the batter. Overall, baseball is very authentic and the controls worked almost perfectly. Next up is darts. Darts is kind of boring after the first match, and they make you play through three matches. After the first match, I just kind of zoned out and pretty much randomly threw the darts wherever. Aiming worked pretty well, and there was good accuracy, but it was pretty difficult to hit the smaller areas of the board. Overall, it's a good game if you like darts. Some may get bored of it. Next up is golf. You can select between playing 9 holes, 3 holes, or 1 hole. The Kinect could easily tell the difference between a hard shot and a soft shot. Aiming worked great. You can move from side to side to practice shots. You can even peer off into the distance to see what the hole looks like before you even shoot. The graphics were excellent and the greens really popped on the screen. Overall, golf was fun and the controls worked really well. Last up, we have tennis. The Kinect could easily detect a hard and a soft hit, but the motion controls weren't perfect though. Sometimes the racket wouldn't hit the ball at the time you wanted it to, so it would either result in a premature hit or a late hit. Overall, tennis was good, but the controls weren't always accurate. This game features local multiplayer, where up to four players in the same room can play at one time, and Xbox Live multiplayer, where you can play with players all around the world. Now before I even get into Xbox Live multiplayer, the menus to get into it were terrible. Uh, basically, they have you select a sport, and then you can select Xbox Live, and I wanted to change my sport because no one was playing on the one I wanted to play. But it wouldn't let me go back to the menu. And for all I know, I think you can only use voice commands to navigate menus. And they didn't work. I muted my TV so that no extra sound was coming into the microphone. And it still wouldn't work. So I don't know exactly why it wasn't working. But yeah. But once I got into playing the game on Xbox Live, it was really good. It was There was no lag. It was also really easy to turn off the Kinect microphone because I don't always like to have my microphone on so other people can hear me. Uh, that's really easy to turn off, that's good. The game itself is actually exactly the same as single player. The only thing that changes is that the opponent that you have is an Xbox Live user. The game features a quick play mode for easy access to your favorite games. It features a challenge mode where you can play against a friend over Xbox Live. All of the game's controls worked great, and local and Xbox Live multiplayer was good and it worked fine. Connect voice commands on the main menu only worked if you muted your TV. There was really no way that I found to switch to a physical controller when navigating the menus. I think that fans of any of the six sports in this game will be very entertained. Overall, I give this game a 4 out of 5. The authenticity to the real sports makes this game worth the buy.